So we're going to go from the back over the front down to the floor and it just needs to be passed halfway again. Just make sure the fabric is past the halfway which that is well past the halfway mark. Same again just pin it into position nice and level. So the back of the seat that's pinned into position all we're doing with the back of the seat, pull the inside back out, is matching the seat to the inside back. So you can see where the cut is there. We're just going to match the seat to the inside back. So just cut to the same, exactly the same spot, like so mark that so you can see. So that's the bottom of the inside back and seat. Leave the seam allowance. So that piece will now join, that piece will now join to this piece when we sew them together. And then we just need to copy the exact same, just unpin the bottom of the back just so you can see so what we have is the inside back the back of the seat basically exactly the same pattern so as you can see there when we come to put the cover together that back of the seat to the bottom of the inside back we will sew across here and then this tuck away We will just sew around, across, and the same on the other side. So th this piece and this piece need to be matching, like so. You can, if you like, put a little notch on the bottom, so you know that these two pieces go together. And then it's the same principle Find the halfway, 17 inch, eight and a half. Obviously it's in exactly the same place. So that's a halfway mark for the inside back, halfway mark for the seat. Everything else is matching up nicely. So across there, down here, and across here, all nicely matching. I'll stick a pin in here just so you can see. So that's our seam allowance allowed, like so. So we're going to put a side facing on, similar to what we've done to the inside back. So we need to fold the fabric back, like so. Pin the facing up, up and out of the way, just so it's not in the way for the time being. So we're going to put a side facing all the way along the seat and down to the floor. So it will be the same as what we've done to the inside back. We'll pin the piece across and down. And then when we come to sew the cover together, again, we will pipe, pipe along here, down to the floor. So we just need to pin this panel into position. Just follow the weave, that gives you a nice straight line. That's now pinned all the way along the top of the seat. Now we just need to do the same coming over and down the outside of the leg. I'll just take that to the very edge. There we are. You can put a little cut into the corner just so it eases the fabric a li little bit. So we've got the panel now pinned across and down to the bottom. 
we just now need to trim the fabric off up and across leaving our seam allowances again fold this piece back and then just follow the shape of the face in I like along the bottom of the facing like so and then just continue taking the seam allowance to the edge you can put another notch in down here so we know the bottom of the facing is going to go to the back of the side seat facing now I'm purposely not taking a full seam here I'm just taking a little bit less than what we would normally take which is I've taken just less than half inch because I want this cover to be just slightly off the floor so I don't want it trailing on the floor I want it slightly slightly off the floor so just less than half inch like so and then we need to do the same exactly the same with this side so find where it meets the floor like so and again just take just less than your normal seam allowance So once we come to take the seam allowance, the cover will be just skimming the floor. We just need to put the halfway, halfway notch. So on this case, we're gonna measure from leg to leg on the outside edge, 17 inch again. So we need to put the notch for the center so that's the halfway notch. So that's the seat finished. Side facing, seat, all pinned in. When we come to sew the cover together, we'll be piping around here and we'll be piping from the back along the seat down to the floor. And then it will be just a case of hemming around the bottom edge once we are finished putting the cover together.